Let's start at the very beginning, a very good place to start. When you sing, you begin with Do Re Mi. The nearest planet to the sun is Mercury, Mercury. The orbit with the most eccentricity, Mercury, 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 Venus, Earth, and Mars. Oh, let's see if I can make this easier. Do, 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 do. Mercury is closest to the sun. Venus has lots of greenhouse gas. Earth, my home, my favorite one. Mars had liquid water in the past. Jupiter's the greatest one in size. Saturn has rings and many moons. Uranus is tilted on its side. And the farthest is Neptune. Doom, doom, doom. Mercury is closest to the sun. Venus has lots of greenhouse gas. Earth, my home, my favorite one. Mars had liquid water in the past. Jupiter's the greatest one in size. Saturn has rings and many moons. Uranus is tilted on its side. And the farthest is Neptune. Now, children, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and so on are only those bodies which orbit the sun, have been rounded by their own gravity, and which have cleared their part of space of all objects of similar size. Once you have this definition in your heads, you can consider the five dwarf planets in our system, which meet all but the last criterion, like so. Ceres, Pluto, Hamea, Make, Make, Eris, sings the IAU in Paris. Can you do that? Ceres, Pluto, Hamea, Make, Make, Eris, sings the IAU in Paris. Now let's put it all together. Mercury is nearest to the sun. Venus has lots of greenhouse gas. Earth, my home, my favorite one. Mars had liquid water in the past. Yes. Jupiter, the greatest one in size. Saturn has rings and many moons. Uranus and Neptune and surprise. The rest are trans-Neptune. Pluto, Hermea, Mackay, Mackay, Eris, sings the 